I'm going to show you how to create an anonymous paperless survey using Moodle. And I'll first show you what the survey looks like. So here's my Moodle page, and here's the midterm course survey that I'd like to have my students do. So I've provided some instructions, and this survey is anonymous. So the students can click here to take the survey, and then they click here to answer the questions. And here's the, the survey. They can click wherever they like. And they can also write down some comments. And click there to finish taking the questionnaire. So I want to show you how to set up this questionnaire. Um, the first thing that you'll need to do is um, turn editing on in your course. Uh, I need to create a questionnaire. So I click on the button here, add an activity or resource. And I'm going to choose questionnaire. I want to give it a name. And here I can copy and paste some instructions that I have. Now, I might want the students to see that on the front page, so I click there. And um, what's important here is that they can respond once. Um, and this is to make it anonymous, so be sure to click the response type and set that to anonymous. And then save and display. Now, I've created a questionnaire, but I need to add some questions. So the first thing I'm going to do is add questions. And I can choose like multiple choice questions or radio buttons. Once I've chosen this, I can't change it, so just be careful. And then I'll add a question. Um, the students won't see the question name, but I'll just write down something for my own information. Uh, is the response required, yes or no? Um, I might make the buttons horizontal. So I want to enter some text. And I need to write each answer on a new line. So, and then save the changes. So if, if I want to edit the question, I can click on the little gear and then edit the question. and save any changes to that. I want to add another question. So I'll uh, just add another question like this one. And you can make it a little bolder. And each answer must be on a new line. Now, again, I can edit the question if I want. Um, if this is a, a question type that I'll use again, I'll just I can just save it as a new question, okay. and then edit the question accordingly. And this question was about the course materials. And finally, I, I want to question about uh, this one. An essay box will work well. So there it is. I've made a questionnaire that my students can uh, take. We can preview the questionnaire and see what it looks like to the students. We'll go back to the course and look at the survey. So we can see the courses here. There's some instructions. Uh, the students can take the uh, survey and uh, answer the questions 